So let's create um, a variable for each data type and see how we can actually uh, use this data type um, in our printf uh, statement. For example, let's use the char data type. To create a signed char variable, we can use signed char and the name can be my char and we can get, give it a value r or we can also create char by itself without using the keyword sign because if we specify char the compiler will know this is a signed char so my char 2 and let me give it a, a number the maximum value it can hold is 127 and i can also create unsigned char and my u char and i will give it the character j and another unsigned char my unsigned char 2 and i will give it a, the maximum value it can hold which is 255 then i will like to print this uh, variables to my this variable values to my terminal i'm going to use the printf function and the printf function expects a string so let me say printing chars so if i want to print let's say the first variable here i'm not going to actually include it inside the string because let's say i want to get the value of my char if i do this it will be considered as a string and then my output is going to end up being my char instead of the uh, character value r so let's 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 compile it and look at it gcc main as you can see i'm getting um a warning because i have two variables here let me remove these variables and let me let me compile it again and let's a.exe as you can see i'm not seeing the value of my char I'm seeing the name of the variable. So if I want to include the value of the variable, I have to use a format specifier. To specify or to use a format specifier, we start with the percentage sign and the format specifier for an assigned char, which is going to be C. I'll use the format specifier C because I want the output of this um, signed char to be an ASCII character. And as a second argument for this printf function, I'll provide it with the variable name my char. If I save this and compile it and run it, I'll see the value of the value stored in this variable, which is r with my string. I can do the same thing for the other variables. If I copy this statement and paste it. So I want to print the second variable, which is my char2. Since my char2 is a number and I want to see a number after the print char's um, string, I need to use a different format specifier, which is a percent %i, or I can also use d, but I'm going to use i in this case. And for the third variable, which is my uchar, since my uchar is uh, printing or storing a, a character, I'm going to use the format specifier c again in here. And for the next variable, which is my u char2 since this one is a number i want to print a number to my terminal not a character so i'm going to use a different format specifier which is u the reason i'm using u is because my u char2 is a number and it's unsigned so i can save this compile it and run it as you can see i do see the value stored in this variable when i print them i can also fix this by saying number char and this one unsigned char unsigned number char for the next one to make it readable this way we can uh, use a format specifier to include the value of um, the value stored in a variable within our printf statement similarly we can uh, use the short data type to create uh, signed and unsigned uh, variables so let's say short so to create a signed short we can say sign short and give it a name my short equals let's say uh, we want to give it the maximum value it can store which is 32,567 as you can see 767 and close the statement we can also create unsigned short my unsigned short and we can provide it with 65,000 which is the maximum value 65,300 and I believe in 300 and 535 
and we can print it to our uh, terminal. So let's say printf printing signed short and we can use the format specifier i usually i is used when we try to print an integer from a character data type so for short we can use the format specifier d and we can provide it with the name of the variable which is my short and we can also print the unsigned short type And in this case, we have to use the format specifier u, new line, and my unsigned short. We can save it and compile it and run it. As you can see, we get the correct uh, value that we stored in our variable. One question that we would like to um, look into is, what if I use a value um, or what if I try to store a value that is bigger than the maximum value that is specified and less than the minimum value it's specified. To do this, for example, in my unsigned short, let me store um, 65,535 and let me try and, and compile it and run it. As you can see, when I try to um, compile it, I didn't see any warning or error, but the result is um, wrong. I'm getting minus 1 as shown in here even though I put the value 65,535. The reason is that because when we try to store a value an integer value that is bigger than its maximum value it is encountered an overflow. That means the memory location cannot store this number. The number is too big for that memory location. So because of this we had an overflow. What if I try to store um, a minus 65,535 in a signed short variable? We're going to encounter the same problem. Compile it. As you can see, we are getting a warning. Let me run it. Again, I got the number one. That's because my short minimum value is minus 35,536. So I underflowed the uh, memory location. For that reason, we got a result that is not predictable or that is not correct. So it's always important to know how big our variable need to be before we create our variable. This is also applicable for the char data type. We can always encounter an underflow and an overflow of um, the memory location. So the next data type we're going to test or try is the integer data type. Just like the signed and unsigned short, we can use signed int or we can specify int by itself to say this is a signed int in my int and I want to provide it with the number 35 34,555 and similarly unsigned int and let's say 4 million and we can also print it using the printf statement printing integer and we can use the format specifier d, a new line, and the variable name. Let's copy this printf statement and change. Oh, actually, we didn't specify a variable name for unsigned integer. So my unsigned int and unsigned integer uses the format specifier u just like the format specifier that we used in unsigned short. We can save this, compile it. This error is coming from my unsigned short. So let me fix that, save it, compile it again, and run it. As you run it, as you can see, uh, we got the correct values printed in our terminal. Again, just like the uh, short data type, we will encounter um, an overflow and an underflow if we try to use a value uh, less than its maximum and minimum boundary. The next uh, data type we would like to test is the long data type. Just like an integer, we can create a long or signed long variable using the data type long. And we can provide it a variable name my long. And let's use this 
and we can also unsigned long my unsigned long you can also provide it with and we can print it let's use the printf statement from our integer variable and change this to long and the long data type uses a different format specifier this is if i'm using a signed long i need to use ld and if i'm using unsigned long well first i have to pick the variable name here it's my long and over here my unsigned loan and the format specifier for unsigned loan is l u and i'll save it compile it as you can see three the second variable is too big to fit in this data type Let me fix that compile it again run it as you can see we are getting the correct value that is stored in this variables the last data type we would like to test is the long long data type just like the long data type we can create a signed or without using the keyword signed we can say long long my long long and then we can provide it with a larger number and then also i'll create unsigned long long my unsigned long long provided with a very large number again and I'll use the printf statement I'll change the variable name to my long long and the long long variable uses the format specifier LLD and the long long unsigned my unsigned long long variable uses the format specifier LLU so if we go compile it and run it we get the correct output so this way we tested all the um, integer data type 